click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, we have seen what do you mean by the boiling and its mechanism. In this topic, we are going to talk about the condensation and the basic mechanism of condensation. Physical mechanism of condensation. Now first thing is you need to understand what is condensation. The condensation is nothing but the change of vapor to liquid. Now in this process the temperature is reached to a saturation temperature. So basically we can take an example. Let us consider an example. A surface is let's say the temperature of the surface is kept below the saturation temperature corresponding to the pressure of a given fluid which is there around it. If that is happening what may occur that due to this a liquid will get condensate or a small droplet may get condensate over a surface. Now what is the reason of the condensation? The reason is simply the surface temperature of the given wall is less than the saturation temperature. So what we can say is this is nothing but a reverse of boiling itself. So the basic Definition of condensation is nothing but where as we have seen for boiling we have drawn this diagram previously where on y axis we have temperature and on x axis we have h or let's say q. So if I keep on increasing the value of h or q the temperature will keep on increase till it reach to a latent heat or a saturation temperature. So after the saturation temperature, once it reached to a saturation temperature, there will no longer be any increase in temperature even if I am adding some heat. Now what is this heat they call as? They call this as a latent heat. And after that again if I keep on increasing the value of Q, the my temperature will start increasing. Now this was the case of boiling. Now this was the case of boiling. In case of condensation, we will start from this point. So basically the vapor which is kept at this temperature will keep on reducing heat and till it reaches to a certain point like this and then from the gaseous form to liquid form it will eliminate some latent heat over the surface. So basically the heat that need to be given to the surface will be in the form of convection in this period plus some latent heat will be there. So let us write down this H, F, G and then again there will be the subcooling. So the heat transfer is by convection. Now we can write this as for subcooling. So basically this many heat will be transferred over to the surface. This way we will reach to a point somewhere here where the droplet has formed which is a subcooled droplet and this may be placed over a surface of a given wall. Now based on the collection of this droplet over a surface of a given wall, there can be a two type of condensation. First one is film wise condensation and second one is drop wise condensation. So if the condensation is a film wise or drop wise this will depend entirely on to the property of surface or nowadays they can alter the property of fluid to have either of this kind of a condensation. Now that is it in this topic. In this topic we tried to talk about the basic mechanism of condensation and the type of condensation. Thank you for watching this video. Please stay tuned with Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda. Thank you.